Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know. Like subscribe and share to help support the channel. First article of interest for today. A proposal on the government table to face the parliamentary economic and financial crisis warns. The decision of the Parliamentary Finance Committee, Ahmed al-Safar, on Wednesday, May 20, 2020, warned against demands to raise the price of the dollar against the Iraqi dinar to confront the financial crisis and maintain the hard currency, stressing that this decision is not in the interest of the Iraqi financial system. Al-Safar said in an interview with Baghdad Today that raising the dollar exchange rate to face the financial crisis and preserve the hard currency is one of the proposals and monetary measures that the state may take to avoid the liquidity crisis. He added, It is not in the interest of the financial system to raise the exchange rate of the dollar because it will lead to a decrease in the Iraqi dinar price and a decrease in purchasing power and will lead to inflation, noting that, the classes with limited income and those with salaries will be the first affected by this decision. Al-Safar pointed out that, raising the price of the dollar depends on the government's ability to apply the necessary public spending from other sources. The economist, Rasa Malakidi, warned, Thursday, 14th May 2020, of floating the Iraqi dinar against the dollar, that is, reducing the value of the Iraqi dinar against the dollar according to a proposal put forward by economists to provide additional funds for the Iraqi budget to be paid as salaries for employees. al said in an interview with Baghdad Today, the issuance of any decision to float the dinar against the dollar in light of the current conditions in Iraq is very dangerous for the country which is basically suffering from uncontrollable losses, namely fees, customs, taxes and many other financial resources. And that, the flotation does not constitute an increase in the value of the Iraqi dinar, but rather we will see an increase in the exchange rates of the dollar due to the lack of its acquisition in the global market, especially with the decline in global oil prices. He added that, the flotation will lead to a significant increase in prices and will be paid by the poor, noting that, the flotation is taken in light of the stable financial conditions of the state, as well as the diversification of the economy and its dependence on resources other than oil. al said that, floating the dinner against the dollar is launching the process of buying and selling without any limits, and the country will face an unprecedented rise in prices with limited and steady salaries, so conditions will be more difficult especially in the humanitarian context. Next article of interest. For parliamentary solutions to secure employee salaries for the rest of the year without waiting for high oil prices. Member of the Parliamentary Finance Committee, Mohammed Sahib al Daraji, proposed four solutions that he said that their implementation would allow to secure the salaries of employees despite the collapse of oil prices while it triggered a surprise in which he stressed that the exchange rate of the dinar against the dinar is currently the one that harmed the national production industrially and agriculturally and encouraged import, proposing to change the exchange rate to 1500 dinar per dollar. al Jaraji said in a televised interview I followed, Baghdad today, that Iraq gets $1 billion and $400 million from the value of its oil sales in the month of April while it needs at least $3 billion for salaries only, and this is a disaster and there are intentions to compensate for the shortage of the central bank reserves in this hit to the country's economy. He pointed out, there are some possible solutions to provide additional funds for the Treasury, the first of which is not adhering to the decision of OPEC to reduce oil production. The second is to reduce the exchange rate of the dinar against the dollar and make it worth 1,500 dinars to $1, and the third is to increase social wage salaries to create a balance of living capacity with a fourth solution that increases salaries. The minimum for employees from 9 to 5 to create the same goal. He continued. There are those who will object to the second option and say that the devaluation of the dinar against the dollar will cause an increase in the value of commodities and a high cost of living. He indicated that the option to increase the dollar's a change rate against the dinar would enable the country to print additional funds with the availability of financial cover from the dollar because its value would increase. 
he pointed out that the current exchange rate has had a negative impact on productivity in Iraq, both agriculturally and industrially, because the value of what is imported from abroad is less than the cost of production in the country. The head of the Parliamentary Finance Committee, Rep. Haytham al Jubari, on Thursday, April 30, 2020, in turn, offered solutions to secure salaries during the next four months, while he indicated that securing them alone without the rest of the operating expenses requires selling the Iraqi barrel of oil at $31 and this is not currently possible. Al Jubari said during his hosting of the program, Shortest Roads, Presented by Dr. Nabi Jassaman al Sharkia News Channel, Iraq may get 25% of the revenues of 2019 and 2020, and we need annually 138 trillion dinars, equivalent to $110 billion to meet all expenses, and we need 97 trillion dinars, equivalent to $81 billion, to secure salaries and pay external debt only. He added, the necessary expenditures in Iraq amount to $72 billion, and they relate to the salaries of employees, social welfare and other expenses, noting that Iraqi oil is currently sold at $16, half of which is spent as an extraction cost. Al Jubari revealed, securing the necessary funds for operating expenses in the month of May. He proposed solutions to secure salaries for the next four months explaining that it is possible to take advantage of the state's cash that is available in the Rafa Dane Bank and the Iraqi Bank for Trade, and we have a deposit of $4 billion to buy weapons from America, we can negotiate and take half of it, and it is also possible to negotiate with the World Bank to borrow $2.21 billion, and these solutions can solve the problem of salaries for the next four months. He stressed that, Salary insurance only requires the sale of an Iraqi barrel of oil at $31, and this is not currently possible due to the low oil prices. The chairman of the Finance Committee pointed out that, we must sell a barrel of oil at $71 to secure all expenditures, noting that, border crossings can provide the budget with $8 billion, but what you get is half a billion because of corruption and illegal outlets. He continued. The reserve of the difficult process in the central is $81 billion, and it remains that $52 billion in all cases to preserve the value of the Iraqi monetary currency. If we use the warehouse, we should not exceed this number. In Lebanon. Next article of interest. A member of the parliamentary finance reveals the size of Iraq's debts and is likely not to approve the 2020 budget. He confirmed the Parliamentary Finance Committee member, Mohamed Daraji, Tuesday, 19 May 2020, that Iraq's debt stood at $124 billion, while the likely failure to approve the 2020 budget and said Daraji during the host in a program The Shortest Route provided by Dr. Nabi Jassim al Sharkia News, Iraq's debts currently amounted to $124 billion while expenditures in 2019 amounted to approximately 116 trillion dinars, noting that, the debts owed by Iraq include what we are owed by the Kuwait war. He added that, the previous government erred when it agreed to reduce oil production because it caused great losses, calling on, Prime Minister Mustafa Akazemi, to take a decisive position on this decision after the appointment of a new oil minister, even if we had to leave the OPEC agreement. He pointed out that, there are many solutions that must be followed to save the country from the economic crisis it is going through, including preventing speculation with food and not importing products except the necessary things, as well as imposing control on the border ports by the Iraqi government to ensure that unnecessary products are not imported. It is possible to achieve this by supporting the anti-terror agency because there are large militias controlling these outlets. He continued, the exchange rate of the currency must be changed, and the direct sale to the citizens should be taken instead of the auction, and external relations must be exploited and work to improve them, stressing that, it is necessary to review Iraq's decision on reducing oil, and to return from it regardless of circumstances. On the budget, Daraji commented, the circumstances Iraq is going through are difficult, 
and the possibility of passing the 2020 budget, so far, is not certain. Next article of interest. The World Bank. Tens of millions will find themselves in extreme poverty because of corona. World Bank President David Malpas has seen that as many as 60 million people around the world may find themselves in extreme poverty due to the coronavirus. Our estimate is that up to 60 million people will find themselves driven into extreme poverty, which will eliminate all progress made to eradicate poverty in the past three years, Malpas said in a conference call. Our expectations show deep recession. The international financial official pointed out that the World Bank is trying not to stand by, by granting loans to 100 countries. Malpas revealed that the bank pledged $160 million in loans until mid-2021. At the same time, he noted that the World Bank's efforts are not enough, calling on the creditor countries to join the Group of 20 initiative, which announced a moratorium on debt payments to a number of developing countries. Like subscribe and share to help support the channel. Don't forget to save a link to my channel on the library platform and check out the Denarian blog, Facebook and Twitter as I post important daily updates on these platforms throughout the day as well. The links to these and other invaluable sites are in the description box below. Knowledge is power. Using that knowledge is powerful. Over and out for now, the Denarian. <laughs>